We're hopping into the latest Celtics trade rumors with the NBA trade deadline a week from Thursday. Before we hop into all of that, get into the comment section right now and name a player the Celtics should trade for. Do that right now. And let's talk some Celtics basketball on today's show. You're watching Boston Celtics Today by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Sr. And with the Celtics floating around 500, these trade rumors are starting to surface more and more, especially that we're eight days away from the NBA trade deadline as we record this on Wednesday. NBA trade deadline coming your way on February 10th. We'll have you covered here on the channel. How about Dennis Schroeder? We've talked about him a lot here on Boston Celtics Today, and because he's Pretty affordable, $5.9 million, and he's only on that one-year contract. He's seen as a very tradable asset, especially with the way that he's been playing this year for Boston. Really being able to rebound after what was a pretty rocky season last year with the Los Angeles Lakers. Reports are certain that Schroeder will be traded away before the NBA trade deadline, and trade ideas have been circulating around Dennis Schroeder going to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ricky Rubio down with that torn ACL. Darius Garland really emerging as an all-star caliber player. Colin Sexton out because of injury, so Schroeder could really be a good backup point guard because he's much better than Rajon Ron in that regard. Eric Pincus of Bleacher Report saying this on the reports with Schroeder, Cleveland Cavaliers believed to be offering their 2022 first round pick protected to uh, projected, excuse me, to be in that 18 to 22 range for the best combo guard they can get. Could that combo guard be Schroeder? Well, up to this point, he's been good. Now, the numbers the last couple of weeks have dipped down, but with Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum playing really good basketball, I think that's a byproduct of why Schroeder's numbers have dipped just a bit in that scoring column. Still good, though. Still respectable. 14.5 points per game, 3.5 boards. He's shooting almost 44% from the floor and nearly 35% from distance. Here's the report on the Cavs side. Cleveland wants to get rid of Rubio and his contract. But it doesn't do the Celtics any good because Rubio is injured. He's out for the rest of the year. And why do they want to serve as a destination for a salary cap dump? So if you're Boston, is this the best trade partner that you have out there to trade away Dennis Schroeder? Doesn't make this really probable at all. Now, this was the trade idea floated out there. Let's take a look at it right now. Celtics receive a first round pick, and the Cavaliers get Dennis Schroeder and Josh Richardson. Now, we talk about the Celtics being that salary cap destination. They could get rid of salary with Josh Richardson and Dennis Schroeder for this year and get a future first round pick. So if you don't think that you can compete this year and you're getting rid of two players who are in the rotation in Schroeder and Richardson, maybe this makes some semblance of sense. What do you think, though? Who wins the trade? Get into the comment section right now. Your opportunity to be a part of the show, just like I am as the host. Type BOS for the Celtics, CLE for the Cavs. Sound off. Get your opinions in in the comment section, and you let me know right now. Now, Valentine's Day coming right around the corner, just like the NBA trade deadline. And we have you covered if you haven't done that shopping for your loved one. Get your girl hooked up with the Celtics t-shirt combo on sale right now. Only if you use that link down below, chatsports.com slash Celtics ladies. You've got that feathered gray shirt as well as that black one, both v-neck looks. Your girl going to be swagged out in this t-shirt combo. Get it right now, chatsports.com slash Celtics ladies. You must plug in that link down below for that deal to apply. How about this trade idea? Coming your way from John Hollinger, does a great job covering the NBA and the Celtics. Celtics would receive Kevin Pangos, Ed Davis, a 2023 second round pick, and the Cavaliers would get Dennis Schroeder. So with these Dennis Schroeder trade rumors circulating, a lot of people are coming up with these trade ideas, trying to find a way for these deals to work. Of course, in the NBA, the salaries have to match, and while you can always kind of do salary cap gymnastics. That is really a big component of these trades is the financial implications. Should the Celtics trade away Dennis Schroeder? He's giving this team around 15 points per game. He's been a spot starter. He's come in off the bench. He's given this team a level of energy. You let me know in the comment section. If you can get something good back for Schroeder, do it. 
because I don't think that you're going to be able to re-sign him at the price tag that he is going to demand in NBA free agency. Type Y for yes, type N for no. And if a trade does happen, we have you covered quicker and better than everybody else here on Boston Celtics today. Approaching 10,000 subs, and just because we're heading into the NBA trade deadline, it's not all that we cover. Bringing you the latest Celtics news, Celtics rumors. When breaking news happens, we have you covered in that regard as well. Hit that red subscribe button down below to stay on top of all things Celtics. Spencer Dinwiddie, an NBA free agency, signed a pretty nice deal with the Washington Wizards coming off that partially torn ACL. And when he was relied upon to be a go-to option offensively for the Brooklyn Nets, he was really, really good. And that's before that injury, but this year, He's been playing very good basketball, and I love the idea of him coming to Boston. Now, fansided suggested that the Celtics trade for Spencer Dinwiddie. The reports are that Dinwiddie is not wanted in Washington anymore, could be the offensive piece that Boston wants, and the Wizards are in a scenario right now where they have Bradley Beal. All signs right now point to them wanting to hold on to Bradley Beal, but they could be quote-unquote sellers at the NBA trade deadline and look to rid themselves of a Spencer Dinwiddie, maybe a Montrez Harrell, maybe a Rui Hachimura. So there are a couple of players on that uh, Wizards roster who were looked at as pretty appealing options. Dinwiddie is one of them. He got off to a really hot start when the Wizards were one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference in terms of their record. They've certainly cooled off, though. 13 points per game this year, as Dinwiddie has cooled off as well. Four and a half rebounds, little less than six assists. He's only shooting 38.5% from the floor, but he might be able to get better offensive looks if he teams up alongside a Jason Tatum or a Jalen Brown. That's why I kind of like Dinwiddie coming to Boston, and this would really, in my opinion, be the Celtics making up for not going after him in NBA free agency, not really getting in on those Lonzo ball talks either when he was a restricted free agent. We knew going into the offseason, one of the biggest needs for Boston was getting a point guard, but they didn't address it. They gave big money to Marcus Smart, and the roster fit with not having a point guard has been somewhat clunky. So if they go after a player like Spencer Dinwiddie, I think it would make up for them not addressing point guard during the offseason. But how does this work with the money? Because Spencer Dinwiddie making a decent amount of cheddar. I liked him going to the Washington Wizards. And while I get concerned about that field goal percentage being sub 40%, I do think it could climb because you're playing alongside two of the best young players in the NBA in Tatum and Brown. More fan-sided on the money aspect of this, Dinwiddie's contract just so happens to perfectly line up with the Celtics' trade exemption from the Evan Fournier sign-and-trade from this past offseason. So Boston could conceivably do a shooter for Dinwiddie swap and fit him onto their team through that trade exemption. Here's that fan-sided trade idea, player-for-player player swap. So if you think, okay, Dinwiddie's the better player than Schroeder, and maybe just exchanging those players could help out both teams, maybe both teams would be interested. Dinwiddie to Boston, Schroeder to the Wizards, could that help both of these teams? If that's the case, maybe both these organizations could elect to pull the trigger. Would you do that trade? Dinwiddie, Schroeder, Type T for trade, type P for pass. Once more, your opportunity to let your voices be heard in the comment section. I think Dinwiddie, even though that his numbers are a little bit less than that of Dennis Schroeder, he's a better player. And I think long term, I think he could end up being the better player for this Celtics roster and with this roster construction. That's why I'm appealed and I'm intrigued by the fact that Den uh, Dinwiddie could be sent to Boston in exchange for Dennis Schroeder. And if a trade does happen, hey, we're going to cover it here on Boston Celtics today. That is why you subscribe to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. With the NBA trade deadline right around the corner, we're going to be pushing out more videos. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button to stay in the know. And thanks for watching today's show.